Merry Christmas and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time tuning in to this channel, thank you so much for stopping by and I'm so delighted to have you here today. In today's video, I am going to be continuing my Christmas decorating series entitled Home Sweet Home. And I hope that you have been enjoying all my other Christmas videos where I took you to different stores. We went shopping together. And I hope that you did see my latest video where I'm decorating my living room. If you haven't, I will leave it linked in at the end of this video. Started, I just want to remind you all that at Felicia by the Seasons we have a goal set for this channel and that is to reach 1k subscribers by December the 31st 2022 now we still have some time to hit that goal and I think the last time that I checked we need an additional 229 subscribers now, if you have been watching this channel and have not subscribed yet, I encourage you to go ahead and click that subscribe button. It's absolutely free to you. But what it does, it sends a message to this YouTube platform that you are enjoying this content and you would like for me to remain on this platform. So briefly, I just want to let you know that I have been on this platform for almost two and a half years now. And all the things, tips, tricks, and ideas, and DIYs that I'm sharing with you are my real life experiences. And I was encouraged by both my family and friends to start this channel. Now, I was a little bit hesitant about exposing myself this way, but I really enjoy what I do here. And I really enjoy meeting new friends on this platform and coming into your homes every each and every week so i hope that we can hit this goal if we hit this goal we're definitely going to have a celebration and i am going to have a giveaway for all of you guys and so i hope to see you at that celebration so let's get into our decorating i just want to thank you all for your love and support of this channel and let's get started Really this time, we're gonna get started. <laughs> this is a quick overview of all the items that I have gathered to create this design. So we're gonna go ahead and decorate our kitchen shelves and table. As you can see, I have my small collection of Santas. And I also, right here, I am gonna be using ornaments. I got my little gingerbread sisters here. I have some gingy cookies. Of course, I have Santa with the gingerbread in his hand. And this is this is an old um, piece here. This is not new. Most of these items here are things that I already have. And this is the greenery that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using this small miniature um, Christmas tree along with these small wreaths and the larger wreaths here. And I'm also going to bring back uh, my metal houses here that I've had before during the fall season. Now, this is a new find that I purchased recently from my, is it Ross or Burlington? My Ross store. And it was on clearance. And it's a cutting board and it has joy written on it. And it was on clearance for $6.99, if you can see the price. So I, so I snapped that right up. And last but not least, this is my inspiration piece here. Is this beautiful sign that I recently found at Ross as well. And if you look at it, these are just tassels layered in the form of a Christmas tree. And so with this particular particular um, picture, um, this created my theme. So let's get started. So these are the shelves we're going to be decorating together today. And as you can see, I have already added my little miniature green wreaths 
one on each side. So I am going to be starting with this top shelf here. And I'm going to start with that beautiful artwork that I showed you. And I'm going to place that in the center. So as you can see, we have added our artwork. Doesn't it look beautiful up there? And so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add two Christmas trees, one on each side, and I'm going to start adding in my little Santa mugs. So as you can see, I have added in my Christmas trees, one on each side, and I also added in two of the Santa mugs. So now we're going to move down to our second shelf. Now I'm adding a larger size wreath. I'm bringing that greenery down to the second shelf to make everything nice and cozy. I'm also adding back in these metal houses that actually came from the Big Lots Arctic Enchantment Collection. I'm also going to add in my two Santas, one on each side. As you can see, I've added two of those metal houses here. I added two more Santa mugs and then the adorable Santa in the center. He is simply a cookie jar. And so now I'm going to add some more accents in front of this, the metal houses here. And I'm going to add my little gingies. And I think that's going to do it for my shelves. Until then, we're going to add the little with me, darling, how much Okay, fun it's still going to be now. I don't want to risk breaking all my little gingies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some bristle trees in front of those little metal houses. Because if these fall, nothing's going to break. So I'm going to add one to each side here. And I think that that'll make it just fine. And these are ornaments. So now that the shelves are complete, I'm going to go ahead and add my Santa mugs to these hooks. I'm also going to add in a Christmas tree into the center. mug right there so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do some styling on this table I am going to decorate the top of this table and the second shelf right there so I'm going to simply add in a cake stand a wreath, and a cutting board. Okay, this is the little caddy that I'm gonna use and I'm gonna put this underneath the cake stand here. A lot of you that shop at Target will be familiar with these. Um, I bought this last year, so let me add this into place. I'm just going to simply lift the cake stand up and insert that under the bottom. And I'm going to put my cake stand kind of to the side so I can just add a few items into the compartments. So I'm going to add these little gingerbread cookies into the caddy. And I'm just going to simply insert them, just lay them down, no rhyme or reason, and just put them right there. 
On the bottom shelf, I am going to be adding our bread box back. I'm just going to turn it around on the opposite side, and I'm going to place this towel as a decorative piece to give it a little pop and visual interest. And this is what it looks like so far. I think it looks nice. It gives it a little pop of decor, so it's easy to slide out if we want to get some bread. And so now, I am just gonna simply add my little kettle, and I'm just gonna insert that in place here. And I'm gonna add a little cute ornament in the center. So let's place this. And I haven't painted it yet. I'm just leaving it rustic like it is. And I'm going to add that ornament. And I thought this was so, so cute. Look at that, you guys. Isn't that adorable? It says, eat, drink, and be amazing. And this was a recent find on clearance for $1.49 at Ross. So let's put that into our little kettle. So now we're on the opposite end of my kitchen and what I'm going to be doing is addressing the upper portion of this doorway and I'm going to put in a sign and I'm just pointing this out to you where it's going to go. And also on this little hook right here, I'm going to be adding either a wreath or so a basket. So this is the hanging basket that I'm going to add to the door and I'm just going to put some simple greenery for the Christmas season. Just hang it up here, just like so. Voila. So I'm gonna just keep this very simple by adding some of these um, pine greenery picks. So let's get that done. to all a good night we're going to add this above the window so now we have added our sign and it looks great and to all a good night so the next area that we're going to move on to is we're going to do the refrigerator top now I'm just showing you these little miniature gingerbread ornaments that I found at Hobby Lobby. And they are miniatures, but I put a up close view. And this is the tree that I'm gonna add on my refrigerator top and I'm gonna insert those little miniatures on this tree. So now I have added this tree onto my refrigerator top. So now I'm gonna add some additional pieces to complete this vignette. So now I'm gonna be using this Jolly Santa with the gingerbread house. And I am gonna be using this white mixing bowl here and this riser to create the entire look. Now I'm gonna take this little fake snow, place it into this mixing bowl, and I'm going to insert my Santa on the inside. The house, it kinda of coordinate with Santa's gingerbread house. I added in some candy canes, because he has some candy canes in his pocket and right there so I mimic it some candy canes and then I add this this is actually an ornament you guys I couldn't believe it when I saw it and it has the tree some berries some greenery I put that in there and I have added these little cheese boards right here or miniature charcuterie boards and I am going to add a sign and this is going to complete this vignette and this is the sign that I'm adding <laughs> It's white outside And 
the night is cold Everyone's lighting candles in their homes Yes, it's Christmas It's a magic time You can feel it in the air That every child got their hearts filled up with joy Yes, it's Christmas All around All snow is falling down All the colored lights Lighting up this town And as I walk outside Hear the Christmas choir sing Merry Christmas Time of year is a time to cheer. Let our love ones, our family and friends have a Christmas with so much love and with joy. Okay, you guys, this completes my video for today, and I hope that you enjoyed this Christmas kitchen decorating. So until the next video, happy decorating. Bye, guys.